Let's move on to main topic number three. And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Big Hen. <clears throat> and Big Hen writes, Hey, John, love the show. Thank you so much, Big Hen. Did you see actress Connie Nielsen, who's great, by the way, who plays uh, Hippolyta in Wonder Woman 19, uh, 1984 and the other Wonder Woman movie? She is unsure that Wonder Woman 1984 will make its August 14th, 2020 release date. Do you think people will be going back to the theaters in August to see Wonder Woman 1984 and will it make its release date? What are your thoughts? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And for those of you who aren't quite sure what it is he's talking about, yes, the woman who plays Wonder Woman's mother, who is great, by the way. I love I love her in that first Wonder Woman movie, and I really liked her scenes in uh, Justice League as well. Uh, Connie Nielsen, she was doing an interview about something, and then it, the topic came around to Wonder Woman 1984, to which she was directly asked, is this movie going to come out in August? Now, this is what she said. She said, I don't know about the August deadline. We can all cross our fingers, and I sure hope so. The mention of a remedy against the virus will certainly make things a lot easier. So basically, Connie Nielsen's comments are, I don't know about the August release date. We can all cross our fingers, and I sure hope so. That's her comments. Rob, one of the first things uh, that I think we need to point out here is the fact that Connie Nielsen, while an important member of the cast, for sure, obviously, obviously connected into the into the ecosphere of what's going on with the DCU and with Wonder Woman itself. Uh, that that is all without question. The catch here, though, is that you got to understand that a lot of the times remember, we had Aaron Cummings in here all talking about this the other day. Ninety nine percent of the time, the actors have no idea what's going on with the movie. Ninety nine percent of the time, they have no idea what's going on with the movie. A lot of times they've never even seen the movie. So the first thing that should probably be pointed out here is that as great as Connie Nielsen is, we should point out that she is not the de facto expert or the person we should be going to to get our information about what's happening with Wonder Woman 1984 because she wouldn't know. She would know better than I would. She would know better than you would. But the, the end of the day, she just probably wouldn't know. That brings, brings up the wider scoping question about do we think Wonder Woman 84 can make that August release date? And I think there's two interesting things at play that offer different perspectives. On the one hand, we've got this lockdown going on and we don't know when it's going to end. I mean, right, so there's still this cloud of uncertainty. We're a little over a month into the lockdown now. Where are things gonna be four months from now? You know, by the time we get to April, May, June, July, August, what are, what are things going to be like four months from now? I don't know. I mean, I don't know that anybody knows. So there's that absolute cloud of uncertainty there. We simply don't know. The other interesting thing here that offers a, an interesting perspective on this is the fact that Wonder Woman 84 is a Warner Brothers film. Another Warner Brothers film is the Christopher Nolan film Tenet. And just on yesterday's show, we discussed about how Christopher Nolan and Warner Brothers are committed. Oh, there! I think we I, I didn't realize this. We lost Robert Meyer Burnett, but he's back now. Uh, we, I had a power a, a power surge. Everything flickered. And my computer was turned off. You know what's funny? That happened to me on the show the other day too. I, I, we, I it was I'm just, I was about I was listening to you read the question and <laughs> then kabam. Um, anyway, so getting to, to the Wonder Woman story here, I'll just finish my thought on this. So on the one hand, a cloud of uncertainty. We don't know what's going to happen in August. But Warner Brothers, the same studio behind it, is saying, you know what? We're committed to Tenet, and that's in July. So, I, you know what? Right now, I'm going to say this. We don't know for sure. If I had to bet $5, five shiny dollars, and only $5, I would wager that Wonder Woman 84 will be in, in theaters on uh, in August. And part of the thing is the same rationale that we had with Tenet. Of course, this is, pardon me, assuming that the theaters are even open, right? That's, that's making a big assumption. But if the theaters are open, you can make the argument, hey, but there's going to be less money to be made because not everybody's going to be going back to the theater so quick. Plus, there's going to be social distancing. Theaters are only going to be selling a certain percentage of the seats in their theaters, blah, blah, blah. Yes, but if Tenet comes out in July, 
it's going to be the only game in town. Yeah. And it's going to be on every screen, everywhere, and it'll have the whole playground to itself. So while it's going to miss out on, there are going to be some people not going to the theaters, the theaters are only going to be selling certain capacity of their seats. The fact of the matter is, they're going to be the only game in town. And I think if, if Wonder Woman 84 can hold that August date, and if movie theaters are open again, and again, this is a whole lot of ifs, but there's not going to be many other original films coming out in August, Rob. And I think Wonder Woman 84 could find themselves in the exact same type of situation that Tenet could be in a few weeks earlier in July. And I think Warner Brothers might be looking at that for both of these films and saying, you know what? This could be bad, <laughs> but there could be an opportunity here. There could be an opportunity here. So, Rob, you look at this situation. What do you think about Connie Nielsen's comments about not being sure if it'll open? And, and ultimately, do you think, if you had to just speculate and guess at this point, do you think Wonder Woman 84 will make that August release date? What do you think? Well, look, obviously, hey, Georgia is opening for business today. We've got I, I was watching interviews with gym owners this morning and um, it is it's April. You know, and if if May and June, if there's a if there's a slow uh, reopening and and things are leveling out in the country and movie theaters do open, look, everybody's going to want to go see Tenet and Wonder Woman eighty four, and those are both Warner Brothers movies. And Warner Brothers has not, you know, we've talked about how they have not taken Tenet off its release date, and I think, you know, in a way, again, as the optimist in me. If, if we do see that we can responsibly open movie theaters in July, what better way to do it than with a movie like Tenet? And I, I dude, I, I'm, I'm dying to see a new Christopher Nolan, mind-blowing, effects-driven, story-driven, actor-driven extravaganza. I mean, who wouldn't? The movie looks like, <laughs> it looks like it's Inception's younger brother. Or whatever, and it's got Denzel Washington's son starring. I'm like, what's not to love? And if that's the way movie theaters are going to be reopening, I mean, that's like you might as well have the hand of God coming out of the clouds, opening up movie theaters by him, you know, with his own hand, uh, with with choral music behind him. It's awesome. If it's yeah, it. And and, you know, and we talked about that on the show yesterday about how that's probably a lot of like, because you know, Warner Brothers and Christopher Nolan have, have said we're we are we're going to have this movie ready to go in July. And, and part of the brilliance of that is, you know, Christopher Nolan is one of the biggest champions for the movie theater experience. That's his big yeah. thing. And there's an opportunity for him to come out and look like a messiah and look like the savior of the movie industry to come out in July. And do, I mean, again, that look, we're not again, like you said, Ron, like I said, we're not discounting the fact that there's a lot of ifs built into this. Right. There's a lot of ifs. But I, I think, Rob, if the theaters are open. That all the other concerns aside, if the theaters are open, I think these movies can come out, and that includes Wonder Woman 84. By the way, I can't wait to see what Patty Jenkins is going to do with this sequel. I cannot wait for that. I And I think they can do really well, again, because they're going to have the sandbox to themselves. They're going to yeah. have it totally to themselves, and, and it's going to be really interesting to see. Question here is, guys, I wanted to know what you thought about this, if you think there's a chance. So listen, just before we started the show, I jumped on Twitter, and I put up a little poll for you guys uh, asking that question. Over a 1,000 of you guys have already responded, and I asked the question that was simply this. Um, Connie Nielsen says that she's not sure Wonder Woman 84 will hit the August release date. With Warner Brothers seeming committed to the tenant coming out in July, can Wonder Woman 84 hit the August release date? And I simply gave you two options. It will come out in August or it won't come out in August. And the poll results are pretty much the exact same as they were when we asked a similar question about Tenet the other day. 37.2% of you guys are saying it will open up in August. That's kind of how I'm leaning. But 62.8% or 62.8% of you guys are saying it will not open in August. A lot of stuff to find out. We'll probably know a lot more as we get into June about what July and August will look like. But as of right now, 37.2% of you guys are saying it will open. 62.8% of you guys are saying it will not uh, open. I want to know what you guys think. Jump into the comments section. Leave your thoughts and opinions. Is there an angle of this that we're not looking at right now, pro or con? Get on down there and leave your thoughts below. All right, guys.